I'm Timothy Weaver. I'm a, a new media artist and a scientist and an engineer. So I bend art and science together in my, my creative practice. Ecoacoustics is uh, kind of the shortened version or the compounded version of the encounters between ecologies and sound. So in, in a creative context, it's important to be able to utilize it to raise awareness of the state of forests. That, that if we cut forests and we, don't, and we don't listen to the soundscape ecology, that we, there's things that are missing. My name is Jacob Job. I'm an acoustic ecologist working with the Bird Gene Escape Project at Colorado State University. So any good nature recording, I think, is balanced. And certainly there's a temporal aspect, a rhythm to natural recordings. You know, diurnal rhythms, you know, dawn choruses, evening choruses, the lull in the midday. I do see the connection to music and nature, even though it's not my, you know, first instinct to think about it from that perspective. In the Rocky Mountains, if you look at elk, and elk whistle at a very high frequency, what they've done is they've adapted to the fact that that whistle needs to be heard over long distance is when they're mating and they can't compete with the background sound of wind in the evergreens which is low frequency. What's happening is areas that were protected from noise pollution are now starting to get it. And noise pollution is always anthropogenic. I think, I think my biggest concern regarding noise pollution is that we don't notice it. It has so many different impacts on our lives as humans. It has so many different impacts on ecosystems, on species. We sort of embrace a culture of noise. I will say I do have anecdotal evidence where I feel like things are quieter. So I, I, I've been bird watching since, oh, I don't know, the better part of 20 years now. And I can remember days where I would be out l looking at birds all day long during spring, spring migration. And I would go to bed that night with my ears ringing with bird song. It wouldn't stop. And I haven't had that experience um, in quite some time. The defeat part of it is when you go somewhere and, you, and the defeat is that you're, you're on the edge of it all collapsing. You can witness it and it's really beautiful and you're also witnessing the train wreck of climate change happening and, and people don't believe it ha it, it's happening. So I work in parks and protected places and, and people go to those parks and protected places because they want to see them and I think that's wonderful but with that visitation they often forget that we are in protected places and so leave that noise at home but people drive like they drive anywhere else people bring speakers into the back country to listen to music and they they yell and shout and I don't want to tell people how to enjoy their time in nature but do know that you're impacting that park and protected area. You're impacting visitor experience, you're impacting wildlife.
science has shown, and you can go to the peer-reviewed articles and see that birds aren't singing their morning calls as much. We can't hear the crickets at night, right? There are some crickets that are currently um, becoming, uh, they don't make sounds because they can't be heard. And so there are breeding patterns and um, fitnesses of different species that are being affected by the noise pollution. It's so it's when people listen to these recordings, I'm hoping we can get back to a place where we are present in that moment, where we are noticing these different things going on in nature um, and, and, and get back to a place where we're attuned to them and connected to them. You put on a pair of headphones and listen to these recordings that I make. I hope, I hope that happens. I hope people feel that. There's so much to sound that we don't understand. The frequencies, the, the, the levels, the, you know, the impacts that, um, you know, it's always better to be cautious than it is to just go forward. Raising consciousness with these new tools is part of it, but passing those tools along and hoping that someone else thinks it's significant and they want to run with it as well is, is what I really, as, a, as an artist and as, a, as an educator, all those things I really hope for. But I, but I can't make that happen. It has to be the right chemistry and people that really care.